So if you ever have looked at a configuration interface of a home Wi-Fi router, it looks something like this. So you have uh, something called the internet setup and the network setup. So internet is basically the outward side of your router, which is in, in the case of a home router, your internet service provider. And the inward side, which is where your Wi-Fi devices connect, is your local area network. So your network setup basically gives IP addresses to the devices connected to the router in the local area network or LAN. And the internet setup basically gives the IP address from the service provider. Now here what we see is this particular router is connected to the hostel network. And it has been given an address of 172.16.15.4. So when we see the subnet mask here, we see that any address which has 172.16, 0 to 255 here or 0 to 255 here belongs to the same network. So you have a lot of uh, IP addresses available here, which is good enough for a, say a network for a hostel. Now this IP address is the outward IP address of a router. Now when we look at the network setup, so here what we have is, all the devices that connect to the wireless router and which in turn connects them to the internet. So all these network network devices have been given a separate set of uh, IP addresses. So what we see here is, and a point also to notice that no two interfaces of a router can fall in the same network. So what the router does, it connects two different networks. So two interfaces of a router cannot fall in the same network. Now here we see is in the local area network, we have the network 192.168.0.1 with this subnet mask. That means we can have 255 addresses in this address, in this network address. Something interesting that we see here is something called DHCP or dynamic host configuration protocol. Now this is what enables us to dynamically assign IP addresses to devices as they connect. So here the setting says, that the starting IP addresses for DHCP would be 192.168.0.100 and maximum number of users that it could assign IP addresses dynamically would be 50. A typical home Wi-Fi router can sustain up to some, somewhere around 15 to 20 devices. So 50 would be a good enough number for a typical Wi-Fi router. So as soon as these uh, devices connect to this Wi-Fi router, they are automatically assigned an IP address by the router. Now let's look at this device and the IP address has, which has been assigned. So we see here DHCP has been activated. So what we see here is that DHCP has assigned the IP address 192.168.0.100 with the same subnet mask and default gateway is the IP address of the router itself, which we saw when we were looking at the router's configuration page. Now that we have seen DHCP is able to assign addresses dynamically, now let's see what happens when we have to assign IP addresses manually.